Like this is close. Let me. All right, and then let's start this one again. Another day, another YouTube video. Ah, so today I have something that I have been dying to have in my house for quite a quite a long time now, actually, that I think about it. So I, uh, my girlfriend has a Roomba. It's like a Roomba 670. It's supposed to connect to Wi-Fi, supposed to work with Google Assistant from what I understand, but after about one or two hours of me trying to get this to work with Google Assistant, I had finally just given up because it would not connect to Wi-Fi to save my life. So today we have this. This is just like a Roomba, except it's made by Shark. And uh, this one clearly states on the front of the box as well. Wi-Fi enabled and voice control. This happened to be a uh, Black Friday deal that we purchased. Well, actually, I didn't even buy this. My girlfriend bought this. I'm just using it as content. Thank you, babe. We wanted to have a robot vacuum, but we wanted to have a robot vacuum on each floor because we're in a two-story house, and we wanted to have one for downstairs and one for upstairs. Now, this one should actually work with Google Assistant, so I'll be able to tell Google, hey, vacuum the upstairs, and boom, this thing will come off the dock. It'll start vacuuming for us. We'll be able to set it on a schedule so that it can vacuum for us, you know, two or three times a week. And then we're going to bring the iRobot, uh, or the, we're going to bring the Roomba from upstairs to downstairs since it's manual. Just so when we're down here, we uh, can hit the button and start this one. Reason being, a little monster there. Uh, yeah, one time we left the Roomba running downstairs, at which point he had went to the restroom in the floor. The Roomba ran over it and uh, was not pretty. So for that reason, that's why this is gonna be upstairs because he's always blocked from upstairs while we're gone at work during the day. So this will be able to run upstairs two or three times a week while we're at work. And then downstairs will just manually run the older Roomba. Let me show you some of this, uh, some of the features here though. Let me move it to the Shark Robot R75. This one says designed for pets, which is something we definitely wanted because we have a pet who gets hair everywhere. AutoSense navigates all floor types and adapts to obstacles. Multi-surface brush roll, carpet pet hair, dander, allergens, and debris. Nice, nice. And I like that it has the dual edge corner brushes. The Roomba, which is this, uh, let's see, here. See how it has the two brushes? The Roomba only has a brush on one side. This has a brush on each side, which, uh, which I, I like. Ease of a robot, performance of a shark. <laughs> so this is literally the same things that were on the front. And uh, Wi-Fi enable, Wi-Fi enabled, optional cleaning and schedule from your smartphone or with voice control through the sh Now if you look on the back here, you can see a lot more details of the box. Easy onboard controls with the push of a button, the robot goes to work. They have uh, sensors everywhere, kind of like a Tesla. Spinning brushes, two of them, and the dustbin. Now what you get is you get some type of boundary strips which you can put down that keep it out of certain rooms. Don't think we will need those. Uh, you get your charging dock and of course you get the robot. Has a lithium ion battery, Wi-Fi enabled, and works with Alexa and Google Assistant. Same thing on this side. Yeah, so literally they put this on three sides. It's, it's on each side of the box, it's on the front of the box. And in a way, it's on the back of the box. Let's uh, let's get this unboxed and see about getting it set up on the Google Assistant. This is another one of those kind of uh, complicated unboxings. All right, so you pull your two flaps, and then if we lay it down like so, should be able to open it. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, look at that presentation all right so uh, this is cardboard Wow it's not even paper so um, install the brushes let's see set up the charging dock install the brushes charge the robot prep the home for cleaning download the app got it 
Here's a regular owner's manual. Probably, probably gonna need those actually. Nice little soft thingy. Here is the robot itself. Ah. Now supposedly this also has some quiet technology, so we're gonna compare it to uh, the Roomba to see. Pill here, switch on before charging. Interesting, very, uh, very interesting. Beautiful, very beautiful. And what else do we have in here? This is, uh, oh, that's one of the brushes, one of the other brushes. This is, that's the tape. And then lastly, the charging dock and cable. And that is it. So this doesn't have a whole bunch of extra parts or anything. It comes with the two brushes you need, um, charging dock. Etc. Let's show you some of this uh, a little up close. Remove film before use. All right, let's get that out of the way. Power switch. Switch on before charging. Okay. All right, that seems pretty standard. Like this is your bin to empty. Yep. So that's where all your dirt will go when it picks everything up. Clean filter weekly, tap to clean filter, do not wash filter. All right. So these are the brushes. These uh, should just go, wait, how do we, oh, there they are. Okay, so that's the little brush and it should just pop right on like so. And now it'll spin, well, once it's on it'll spin. Pop this one on. All right. I noticed this has a few extra little bristles on it that I don't recall seeing on the uh, Roomba versions, but uh, I like this. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Literally, design seems the same. A little bumper that makes it uh, turn around and go to a different direction. Use this convenient power outlet I have here. Open up our charging station. I can get the tape off. All right, place the docking station there. Take our nice cable, plug it in the power here. Got a little green indicator light there. Very nice, very nice. And then all that should be left to do with this is it told me to flip this to on. And then, uh, Let's just set it on the charger. There we go. Much better charging indicator. Much better than the Roomba one. All right, so I'm gonna have to give this a couple of hours to get charged. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna clean up this mess I made. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to this once it's charged up and then we'll get it synced in the Shark app. I realized I can probably go ahead and do this setup while it's charging. So, uh, let's get into the setup. Alright, so first of course you're going to go into your Play Store or your App Store and there is going to be a Shark Ion Robot app. Shark Clean. Let that download. And nice little animation there. All right, now I've got to make an account. We'll skip this part for the video, of course, but uh, just create yourself an account here. All right, yep, I agree. All right, let's get your shark ready to start cleaning. So make sure, you're, make sure your phone's on the Wi-Fi, got it. First, turn on your shark, got it. Let's find it a good home. This gives you instructions of how to set up the dock and all of that. Now let's activate your shark's Wi-Fi. Press and hold the left and right buttons on your robot for five seconds. Now these buttons look slightly different than mine. My left and right though are docks, or dock and max. So two, three, four, up. Oh, there we go, that little beep was it. So I see the Wi-Fi icon. Now it is going to connect to the Wi-Fi. It sees, it sees the robot. 
Now it's wanting to know the Wi Fi. There's my Wi Fi. Now that my Wi Fi password has been entered, it's going to connect it to Wi Fi. See the little Wi Fi light is lit up on the robot. Yay, we're connected. So we're going to call it <laughs> Mixy Vlogs. <laughs> I'm going to call this the upstairs vacuum. And I've already did all this. Tells you to move stuff out of the way, etc. All right. So this tells you even uh, how much battery you have left. That's pretty nice. And there we go. It is on the Wi-Fi. It, uh, it's still charging. It's at 55%. So we will let this get to 100%. But uh, I think that's going to basically do it for this video. Pros and cons. Always tells you your battery life, which is nice. Brought it upstairs because this is where we're going to use it at. So, but always tells you your battery life. But there's no, uh, there's no handle. The Roomba has a handle, which is a nice little feature, I have to say. They should have incorporated a handle somehow. That's probably my only complaint, really. So I'm going to put this back on the dock. Alright, it's charging. Now, let's do a sound comparison. Let me get the Roomba. See, the handle's just kind of, kind of helpful. Then I'm going to take this one and set it here. And then... Uh, we're going to take the camera and set in this chair, and then I'm going to turn them both on, and we're going to see what they sound like. All right. Let's start. Thank you, Zach. Let's start with the iRobot, see how loud it is. Now, for the first time, let's see how loud the shark is. See how loud the shark is. Oh, yes. Much quieter. Wow. Wow, this thing is a million times quieter. Now, notice the uh, little sweepers don't seem to sweep as fast, but maybe you can turn that up in the settings. I don't know exactly. I haven't did a, a lot with this yet. But it definitely works. This is... Uh, much quieter like listen to this like this is close let me all right and then let's start this one again hear that that's a huge difference really big difference it looks like this is a max setting oh well seems to be about the same i dig it all right well i think that will do it for today's video I can definitely say the Shark is much quieter than the Roomba. Now, as I mentioned, my Roomba, or my girlfriend's Roomba, is a little older than, um, than some of the newer ones. I think this model's about a year or two old. But yeah, this thing is completely quiet compared to the Roomba. Uh, from what I can see in the app, the app works perfectly fine. I can tell it to start and stop, and all of that actually works. Unfortunately, I cannot find the Shark app in the Google Home settings, so at this point I am unable to set up the Shark with Google Home to tell Google, you know, hey, vacuum the upstairs and just have the upstairs vacuumed. But through the Shark app, I can still set up the schedule I wanted to where it will vacuum in here and vacuum our upstairs for us on a schedule. So I don't necessarily need Google Assistant, but I do want it, and if I can get it set up, I'll make a setup video later on, uh, whenever I figure out how to find the app and get it set up. I follow the instructions on their website. Those don't work either. They're for the old app before Google updated it. So Shark needs to update their instructions, please, Shark. I think that's gonna do it for today. If this video helped you out, click this like button, click subscribe down in the corner, and we will see you in the next one. Deuces. Best part about these is the little lines they leave. Look at that. Very, very 
very good job.